Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here, and um, wow, it finally happened guys. After almost seven years of waiting to figure out how Boruto got his scar, we finally got the answer in this month's chapter. And my goodness, it's a total surprise. There are many theories as to how he would get his scar. There are many times where I thought, yep, this is when he's getting his car, but it would never happen. But we finally arrived at that point. That and when uh, Ikimoto dropped the time skip design for Boruto and Kawaki this last month. As soon as I saw that, I was like, yeah, that scar is coming pretty soon. But anyways, uh, let's talk about these chapter spoilers that we got today. So based off these spoilers, Boruto chapter 78 is going to be one of the most interesting chapters and one of the most talked about chapters for a long time to come. There's some interesting stuff in this chapter, so the one thing I thought was interesting at first was that Ada actually reveals that Kawaki sealed Naruto and Hinata away. I was expecting her to see this, but not say anything to Shikamaru and withhold that information, but she just blindly just told everybody what's going on. She literally told Sarada that, oh, yeah, by the way, Kawaki's trying to kill Boruto again. She's like, what? Wait a second. Again? What? What's going on? So Sarada goes to protect Boruto, who is run off in a rage because Kawaki sealed his parents away. So obviously he's not really too happy about that. So, uh, yeah. Now, one thing I will say I did get right on was the fact that Naruto and Hinata are sealed away in that dimension where time does not flow. Which means they won't age a day or require food or water or anything just because time's at a standstill where they're at. So, yeah. So they're going to be there for a couple of years, so that means they're not aging at all, which um, that's going to be interesting when they get pulled out of that dimension. They're going to see everything that's happened since then. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to be a pretty sight for Naruto and Hinata when they return eventually. But I will say, I did get that right. I had a strong feeling that Naruto was going to be sealed away in that dimension where time stands still. So I guess uh, I did a good job there with my prediction. And now for the big reveal in this chapter. Obviously, Kwaki and Boruto have their battle. Sarada shows up, tries to protect Boruto, but Kwaki's like, yep, you're getting in my way. I'm going to kill you. So he tries to kill Sarada. And that's when Boruto literally grabs Sarada and saves her, but at the cost of his eye. That's right, guys. Boruto finally got his scar and he lost his eye. And it's all because of Sarada. He protected our girl Sarada, so... He kept his promise from way back earlier on where he said he would protect her when she'd become Hokage. Obviously this is before she became Hokage, but he went ahead and protected her, so uh, he kept his promise. Anywho, Kwaki ends up getting restrained by Shikamaru, Mitsuki, and Sasuke. With Shikamaru using Shadow Paralysis Jutsu to freeze up Kwaki, Mitsuki grabbing his arms so that he can't absorb the Shadow Paralysis Jutsu. And Sasuke has a sword right up to his neck. He's like, yep, if you resist, I'm going to kill you. And that's when uh, Momoshiki takes control of Boruto. It seems like Boruto losing his eye here caused some things to kind of go away here. It seems like Boruto is no longer in control. And it also seems like that dimension where him and Momoshiki converge in, where time seems to stand still, gets all messed up as well. And the implication here is that maybe it has something to do with Borto's eye, or his Jogon eye. Maybe that was restraining Momochiki before, but it's no longer doing that anymore. Which, I'm not sure if I'm on board with that yet, since the Jogon hasn't really been emphasized a whole lot in the manga. But this could explain why things are going away here. He loses his eye, so his ability to restrain Momochiki has been lifted, so Momochiki can do whatever he wants. So, I don't know. This one's a little dicey, maybe I'll wait until the full chapter comes out to comment on this further. But Momoshiki basically implies that, yep, this is the moment you lost that blue eye. Everything's about to go wrong for you. You're going to be starting to lose things one by one. So, um, yeah. I'm fully expecting some people to potentially die in the next chapter. Whether it's Sasuke, Konohamaru, or even someone like um, Mitsuki or Shikamaru or something like that. There's a chance that we're going to be losing some people in the next chapter, so... um. You guys might want to brace yourselves. Alrighty guys, that's all I got for this video. So I'm going to reserve my full thoughts for the chapter when it comes out. And when I do my chapter review. So look forward to that this upcoming week. 
And yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Boruto getting a scar here? Are you satisfied with it? Did you want it to happen a different way? Or what? I'd just like to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Post them, and uh, yeah, if you're someone that's new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and yeah, look forward to my Chapter 78 review of Boruto. Anyways, guys, have a good day or night regret, and I'll see you all later. Bye.